Hi, this is Phantom Aquarist, and I just got my live fish order through the mail from eBay. Uh, my orange flash cockatoo cichlids came in. I'm really excited about these guys. I've been waiting about a week for them to get around to shipping them out. Um... Sorry, I only have a big knife. I actually can't find my normal knife, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah, this is really hard to cut. Apparently this knife is dull. But, uh, anyways, back to the cichlids. Uh, I was trying to find the normal variant, the, uh, like, cheetah print one, or I don't know what the specific name of it is. But I ran into orange flashes, so I ended up getting these. They're really pretty. They're, like neon orange so they're very vibrant and very pretty this really is hard to cut with this knife <laughs> um but yeah the got it from a seller on ebay come on and uh i'm just really excited to see how these guys came in I thought this box looked like it was recycled. That's alright. I do the same thing with my stuff when I sell on eBay. Let's see here. We have the same stuffing that, uh, the same kind of stuffing that we used, was used when I did my Imperial Tropicals purchase. Uh, I'm interested in this stuff all the time because it's just ridiculously soft. It's really smart for packing material and it stays warm because it conducts heat really well. Pretty smart use of this stuff. Get my bucket. This stuff's a mess. The last time I did this, I got it all over my clothes, even though I used a bucket last time also. So, there's one bag. There's the others. A lot of stuffing in here. Hold on. Alright, so there's three bags. They're actually really packed in here. I don't know if I would have done that. Let's see here. These bags are double bagged, so you may not be able to see them well. That makes it really cloudy. Yeah, this plastic's super cloudy. So, you may not see that, or you may see that. That's actually a female cockatoo. So, uh, sorry if you can't see that, I'm trying. But, like I said, these flag bags, my bad flags, these bags are really, really thick. So, not very clear. But yeah, that's a female. And, let's see. That is a male. As you can see, he's a lot more brightly colored than the other one. If you were able to see that, once again. But, uh, a lot more brightly colored than the female. Uh, fins longer. Uh, way more show-offy looking body. Really pretty. And the last one's supposed to be the female. So let's see here. There's a lot of paper dust stuff on there. If, once again, if you can see, that's the female. This one's a lot more lively than the others. So that's a good sign that it's going to stay alive longer. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it perishing in a new setup tank. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, yeah, I, uh, for my eBay purchase, I did buy two females and a male just in case the off chance one of the fish died more than likely and hopefully it would have been one of the females. And, uh, also then the male had a choice. Here we go, putting in the bags. Uh, the last video I did, when I did the Imperial Tropicals video, one of uh, my fellow YouTube members uh, decided to inform me about 
you're not supposed to there's the male you're not supposed to acclimate fish that have been shipped because they're more prone to dying quickly um, I've never heard that and so I looked it up and it is a real thing you're not supposed to acclimate fish when they get shipped I was unaware of that and I mean it makes more sense that you should acclimate them but for some reason it makes a whole bunch of like pH spike and all the other crazy things happen and so I'm gonna go through a long spiel about it but there's the other female but um yeah it just it does a lot of damage so I'm just plopping them in And as you can see, they've been in for about a day, so they're just a little timid, looking around the tank, trying to figure out their surroundings. They're already picking stuff off the substrate. Uh, they're actually doing really well for being in here for about three hours. And the male seems to be the shyest out of the bunch. So he stays by the rocks while the female, one of the females, is just cruising throughout the whole tank. The other female was, but I don't know where she is right now. But yeah. Pretty much the rest of today, this is still day one, um, I figure I'm breaking this up into parts as I'm speaking, but pretty much since this is day one, all you're mainly going to see is the uh, fish just checking out the tank. They're going to be a little too new to the tank to want to do much else. I probably won't even be able to feed them today, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, they seem to be doing well. They're not stressed out. They're not hyperventilating. They're not like gasping for air like some fish in new setups. Uh, they actually took it pretty well. So I think I had a pretty strongly built uh, tank waiting for them. Yeah, there, little guy. Alright, this is about three days later. The uh, male and female are doing pretty good. The male is actually following the female, which is a really good sign now for my breeding pair. Um, one downside about the other female, she, I came into, I went downstairs this morning and saw her floating upside down in the tank and not breathing so she passed away last night unfortunately which stinks I only had her for a few days but luckily my whole plot with the getting more than one female in case one dies or the male didn't like her thing worked out so it looks like these two are about to breed so we will see how that ends um, I'm really excited. I switched, I'm, I've been switching back and forth between the bright light that I had when I put together this setup and the dark one. So. I will be uploading the progress with these fish every few weeks. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Then after you subscribe, hit the little bell icon that shows up next to the subscribe button. YouTube has had a problem lately with unsubscribing people from channels that don't hit the bell. Also, if you have any comments, then please comment. I appreciate the feedback. Once again, this has been Phantom Aquarist. Thanks for watching.